We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 5 Peter Colt was once a rising star. Once ranked 15th in the world, I hear. Uh, 11th, actually. Who never rose to the top. That's Peter Colt, once ranked 17th in the world. 11th! Now, in his final tournament. Since this may well be my last Wimbledon press conference, I'd like to announce my retirement from... It's Jake! Tennis. That's my retirement from tennis. He's about to meet someone who knows what it takes to win. Oops! Sorry, wrong court. Lives in property, right? Yeah. Ten bucks says you can't hit two in a row. You're exceeding my expectations. Mine too. Hit this one, and I'll sleep with you. Ow! Too bad. You could have used the workout. My daughter's on a roll right now, but I don't want her to have any distractions. Right. Of course. Sorry, just to clarify, do you see me as a distraction? This fall, the guy everyone counted out. Go out there and decide who you are. Who might not be? Might be a winner. Incredible! This is the first seated player he's defeated in two years. Is now the guy everyone's talking about. What did I always say about you? You're not still my agent, I Here you are existing again, so I'm back selling again. You know, I genuinely despise you. From the creators of Naughty Hill and Bridget Jones. I know that Lizzie likes to have her fun. This time it's different. She's falling for you. <laughs> Kirsten Dunst, Paul Bettany. What do you think makes her so extraordinary? When she makes a decision, she goes for it. When you fear nothing. Not to add to the pressure, but you know the entire United Kingdom is cheering you on. Yeah. Anything is possible. You're doing so great. You just have to keep winning. So keep winning. It's when your heart's really in it that you play your best. And for one moment, the world is yours for the taking. Wimbledon. There'll never be another tournament, another trophy, another girl. That's right, Leslie. Lizzie! Oh, oh, Lizzie! Number four. Hello? Eureka, Billy Jean! It's Bobby, Bobby Riggs. Listen, I had a great idea. Male chauvinist pig versus hairy leg feminist. No offense. You're still a feminist, right? I'm a tennis player who happens to be a woman. Go hang up. And by the way, I shaved my legs. We are privileged tennis fans to have the great Billie Jean King. Word is you are a renegade. Women should be paid and respected equally. I admire what you guys are doing. You're offering the men's winner eight times what you're offering the women's winner. The men are simply more exciting to watch. It's just biology. <laughs> I am not saying that women don't belong on the court. Who would pick up the balls otherwise? Oh, my God. You know what I'm doing? I'm cooking. I'm cooking! There isn't a single thing I don't hate about Bobby Riggs. $100,000 to any woman who can beat Bobby Riggs. Is she out there, and does she have the nerve? Call Bobby. Tom, it's on. So, Billie Jean, what do you want? Whatever I may feel, I can't act on it. There's too much at stake. Business, sports, you name it. The very top, it's the man's world. If I can't beat Bobby Riggs, he's never gonna let it go. We are live in three. I'm gonna be the best. Two. The way I can really. One. Change things. When we dare to want a little bit more, just a little bit of what you've got, that's what you can't stand. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to put the show back in chauvinism. He can talk all he likes. Dinosaurs can't play tennis. Oh. 40 million people are watching. Any last words? I'm done talking. Let's play. The battle you've all been waiting to see. The battle of the sexes. Number three. It's the perfect rivalry. The baseline player 
and the net brusher. The Swede, who at only 24, could make history by winning his fifth Wimbledon. Can McEnroe pull Borg from his throne, Arthur? The only thing standing between Borg and that record is you. You and Borg are as different as two people could possibly be. Is he backstage or something? Is he gonna like jump out of the cage? McEnroe is the bigger talent, but playing Borg is like being hit by a sledgehammer. How does it feel knowing you'll make history if you win your fifth Wimbledon? I'm just like uh, anybody else. I'm not a machine. The question, Turkov, answer the question! The ball is on the line! Turk's low ball over, man! I'm going to issue you a warning for unsportmanlike behavior. What do you have to say about your behavior? Let's talk about tennis. Does anybody have any tennis God, questions? Do you expect anyone to root for you in the final against Borg? Look, I, I get that uh, you got your hero, you know, your gentleman, Borg, and you need a villain. Shut up! You don't understand what it takes to play tennis. Where people are talking more You know, about I go out there and I give everything for this game? <laughs> everything. Everything in me gets left out on that court. And none of you understand it because none of you do it. You want to know what Bjorn's doing right now? He's in bed. His room is cold because he wants his pulse below 50 beats a minute. Every year he trains on the same court. He rents the same car. He sleeps in the same room. What is that? You'll never be remembered as one of the greats. You know why? Because nobody likes you. The only thing people are going to say is... You cannot be serious! I was in that crazy guy that always yelled at the umpire. Either man take any more punishment. Number two. The Williams Pool match. Juice. It wasn't even a match, it was something else. It was nothing short of a miracle. It was the longest ah! and arguably greatest game ah! in tennis history. No! It was seven days in hell. Aaron Williams does not play country club tennis because he's from the streets. It was a reverse blindside. You know, a rich white family gets a black kid and makes him play football. Well, we flipped it. You see, my dad, he took a white kid and made him play tennis. Woo! Aaron Williams, you're known as the bad boy of tennis. I'm not going to apologize for the incidents in yesterday's match. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got a streaker. What's going on? What's he doing to us? It's natural and it's beautiful. An Englishman hadn't won Wimbledon since 1937, so there was tremendous pressure on Charles. What's your overall strategy? I don't know what the word strategy means, Brian Gumble. I'm not Brian Gumble. I'm Soledad O'Brien. I'm at the wrong show. No, no, the name of the show is Real Sports with Brian Gumble. Yeah, yeah, indubitably, yeah. the queen. What did she want? She wanted me to win. Putting a tennis player on denim was the first in a series of bad choices. One point away from ending this outrageous seven-day match. Please end it. Please end it. Oh. Oh, jeez. If the pressure of winning Wimbledon wasn't enough, now he's got a dead body on his hands. Second serve now, after killing a man. Murderer! Number one. The man who said I'd rather be lucky than good saw deeply into life. Oh my God. <laughs> We're gonna get lost in here. Oh, look at you, bro. Right? see. Yeah, it looks like you're doing all right for yourself, aren't you? I got married. Very nice. Family's got nothing but money. He saw me across the room and he honed in on me like a guided missile. Chris, there you are. It's been over a week since we made love. 
Chloe. I'm beat. You're gonna do very well for yourself. Unless you blow it. And how am I going to blow it? By making a pass at me. So you are aware of your effect on men? I think I'd be something very special. And are you? Well, no one's ever asked for their money back. I don't think this was a good idea. You shouldn't have followed me here. Do you feel guilty? Do you? Are you having an affair? Of course I'm not. Don't be silly. I don't know what I'd do if I couldn't see you. I mean it. I don't know what I'm doing with you. You're never going to leave Chloe. Maybe I will. Stop playing games with me. Keep your voice down. I don't fool myself that I haven't gotten used to a certain kind of living. Am I supposed to give it all up? Do you miss me? Are you mad calling me here? If you don't have the nerve to do it, I'll do it. So you're threatening me? If I don't do what you say, you're going to go to my wife. Hello? Who keeps calling? You have to protect me. My family, my marriage is at stake. You lied to me. You're a liar! You can learn to push the guilt under the rug and go on. Otherwise, it overwhelms you. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. And for more top 5 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.